Hey reefers, welcome back. Okay, so our last episode we spoke about working out the volume of your aquarium. This episode we're going to, we're going to discuss um, working out the displacement. So when it comes to dosing in our aquarium, the thing we've got to get right is how much water is in this aquarium. So by adding rocks and, and substrates to a volume that we've worked out already, we've now displaced water. So water has moved out of the aquarium. So there's less water than what we started. Yes, each aquarium is different and how each aquarium uses the item that you're dosing and how fast the item is being used is a variable. But the amount of water in your aquarium will give you the right amount to dose to bring your levels back up to where they need to be or to maintain those levels. So as an example, in my video water volume calculation, which I'll leave a link to at the end of this video, I haven't, if you haven't uh, had a chance to check it out, go check it out. Um, there, there we determine the volume of water of our aquarium. Now we want to add substrate and rock. Here we will have to account for the amount of water displaced created by our rock and substrate. Due to the fact that rock is not the same from manufactured to, to natural rock and in those there may be differences in densities. So it's hard to put an exact displacement calculation. But what we've researched and what we've tried ourselves and reading other forums, we can work out a basic so you're looking at around about, for every 1.75 kgs of rock, which is equivalent to 3.86 uh, pounds, we're going to get displacements of around 1 liter, which is equivalent to 0 0.26 gallons. Okay, now this is not an exact figure, but it will give you a basic good idea. Okay, so it's something to work, work on. And you're looking at around about the same for substrate. If you're wanting an exact amount of displacements, the best way to do this would be while setting up your aquarium, you fill your aquarium up to overflow point and your weir to the point where it's going to overflow. So if you add any more water to the aquarium or anything to the aquarium, the aquarium will overflow. On your downpipe going to your sump, if you have one on the system, you can add that, add a hose to that into a bucket. Now, as you add your substrate and add your rock, your tank will overflow into the bucket. Now, this will give you an idea of what you've displaced on what you've added into your aquarium. So, a way to do it, and to, a way to do it exactly, if you want to be that precise, it not, doesn't really matter. You can still work it out at fresh water weighs one kilogram per one liter. Salt water, the weight of the water would be um, in relation to your specific gravity. So if your water is 1.025, then initially it's going to weigh 1.025 kgs. So if you were going to work it out, if you don't have a bucket where you know what the measurement is, you could weigh the bucket beforehand to get an idea of what the weight of the bucket is to minus it from your weight of the water. So you weigh your water. So for example, if your water minus the bucket weighed 10 kilograms, you could work it on 10 liters. But if you wanted to be exact, you could do a little sum. You do 10 kgs divided by 1.025, and it'll give you an exact literage of 9.756. So it's not a massive difference in your displacement, so you could work on the one. I'm just trying to be, for the guys who like to know exactly what's going on in the aquarium, uh, it's not something that you really have to do. I mean, if you really work it back, you could look at the, the first option, which for every 1.75 kgs of rock, you get a displacement of, of approximately one liter. And you can try this yourself. You could take a bucket of water, place a mark on the, on the bucket, add a piece of your rock. If all your rock is approximately the same, this is another, actually, this is another option of how to do it. You could place that rock into the bucket. The water obviously will rise above the line. You remove the water from, from the bucket so you get back to the line on your measuring jug and it'll tell you how much water that that rock displaced. Same concept. So now you don't have to go to this extreme. The calculation of 1.75 kilograms of rock to 
we will displace about one liter of water will give you a much better idea on what you would need to dose and, and what the actual volume of your aquarium is. And you'd be on the right path for dosing your aquarium. So thanks for watching. Like I said, I'll add a link at the end of this video to the water volume calculation video. Um, these two would be related and just helps you get a better idea of what your, what your tank volume is. Like I said, guys, enjoy reefing. And until next time, happy reefing. Thank you.